Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our daily hacking news series. Hit the like button to give us sort of priority. So before starting, we are having one question for you. In case if there will be any cyber war between US and Russia, then what do you think will be going to win? So say your answer in the comment section, and we'll give you a sort out in the next video. Now let's get right into the video. So first news related to Russia versus Ukraine. So actually, as we all know, on April 13, 2022, Ukraine claims that its forces has hit Moscow with two missiles and it subsequently sank. So it only took a matter of the days of Ukraine National Postal Service, Ukroposta, to issue a stamp honoring the defense of the border guard on Snake Island as they refused to surrender to the Russian Moscow warship. So on the stream, a guard is revealed giving a defiant one finger salute to the Moscow and this is where a cyber security element entered the story. So because on 2020, 22 April 2020, Reuters reported that the Ukroposta has hit by distributor denial of service attack. The speculation is that this was a retaliation against the sale of this stamp, which cheekily made fun of the fate of the Moscow. So, Director General of UK National Postal Services posted on Facebook that we are really doing everything together with international provider to restore both the online store and other Ukroposta system that are also temporarily not working due to DDoS attack on our system. So this was the whole story. So basically they are trolling uh, Russia in short. Anyway, the next story, the next news related to Black Cat Ransom. So the US Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, published a flash report that stated that at least 60 entities worldwide has been breached by the Black Cat Ransomware, which is also called Alpha V and Nobras, and it was basically breached the entire 60 entities worldwide since it started this operation in November. So this is uh, very huge. So basically, the FBI has released a flash report, and they has detailed the indicators of the compromise IOC associated with the attack, which were include Black Cat. So basically the Black Cat or Alpha B is a ransomware service that has compromised at least 60 entities worldwide. So also in the meantime, CISA encourages user and administrator to review the IOCs and technical details in FBI flash CU 000167MW and apply the recommendation mitigations. So this ransomware is machadi and vocal. Now next news related to a new malware. So in April 2021, threat actors conducted a spear phishing campaign with MoreX malware that targeted job hunting profile on LinkedIn. They sent malicious .zip files that are named under the current job title of the victim. So MoreX is basically a malware that is especially designed to steal valuable credentials like username and password for corporate bank account and email account and IT domain account. So professionals, now you're getting targeted from the hackers, be safe. Now last news is coming from Iran and this is very shocking. So basically Iran's state television said authorities have filed massive cyber attack through South to target public services, both, both government and privately owned. So the report late on Sunday said Iran thwarted the attack that planned to target the infrastructure of the more than 100 public sector agencies. It did not elaborate or name a specific example of the public sector agencies, organization, or services, but said the incident happened in recent days. So the report said the unidentified parties behind the cyber attack use internet protocol in the Netherlands, Britain, and United States to stage the attack. So they are attacking on their own country. Anyway, that's all about today and that's all for today i hope you found this video helpful if yes comment on the feedback you may subscribe because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis so at last thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind